it's okay to start now and to start new. You can literally create any life that you want. You can make the changes that you need to make. You can be the person that you need to be just like this. Like, it's okay if you waited so long to make this big change or to start trying to live the life that you want to live or telling the people how you feel or, you know, traveling to the places you want to travel. It's okay if it took time to arrive at finally deciding to do this, to be this. And in this moment, right now, watching this video, you can make a choice within yourself to start moving towards the life that you want. You can create new habits. You can let go of things that are, not, that are not serving you anymore. And it doesn't matter how long it's taken you. So that's really something that I've been pondering myself. And I have been visiting different things in my mind of like habits and whatnot that I would like to start uh, re... What would the word be? Recommitting myself to. So with traveling Europe right now and living in this van that doesn't drive at the moment, being on the farm there, and these flies are summertime thing. It's not because I stink. <laughs> some of you have commented some funny things about the flies, but I promise I shower often. I have that outdoor shower with a view. It's a mess over here. Please don't judge. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I was like, okay, you know, we need to stop waiting for things to settle down. And we need to stop waiting for things to make sense and for life to get easier, to make the changes that we want, to be the person that we want, to take the steps that we want. And what I realized recently is like, kind of in a way, it's one thing after another. There will always be something new that creates contrast in your life, that creates challenges for you to grow and they can be perceived as big or small but they're never going to end you're always going to have something so long as you're in this human form there will always be ways that you can continue to deepen and grow the your in your human body in this human experience and that's what's beautiful so instead of being like you know oh, i'm so stressed out right now or it's so hard to you know do things that i love right now because i have this going on and this going on and I'm saying this from a place of understanding that myself, like moving through grief in many ways recently and having the van broken down and just kind of like, you know, a lot of change and a lot of newness, which is wonderful and beautiful and something that I'm so grateful for. But in that, it's so easy to lose you. It's so easy to lose the things that you want to commit to that make you happy, that make you centered, that remind you the truth of who you are. And so for me, it's like really finding that space for a long time, like living, living in a community. I never even thought about this before. And now I'm starting to see this whole other world where people live in communities and so many people, many of my clients too, it seems like something that we're not all, but many of us are being downloaded with is this thought of moving towards, uh, living, living in communities, building communities and, uh, kind of leaving this old way of being and existing and you know this this matrix that people are in and that uh so i'm now actually very curious about this lifestyle and i'm like well i love it so far but in it you have to find the space and the boundaries to to recenter to remember who you are and uh it's okay to say no to things i think a lot of us can um uh, not feel, feel comfortable with saying no to things. And that can lead to a lot of wonderful experiences, but you might lose yourself a little bit down that, down that path. And so there has to be a balance in everything, a balance in your diet, in your sleep, in your, you know, in your way of being, in your way of showing up in the world. There has to be that time where you reflect inwards and you take inventory of where you are, what you're doing, what you're focusing on, where your energy is going, and be honest with yourself. Where can you change and recommit and let go, right? And so if you're trying to start something new right now, you're trying to start a new timeline, you're trying to jump into that timeline to experience this reality that you want, you're ready. In this moment, maybe you feel ready to finally have that life that you've been 
thinking of and dreaming of for so long, but it's just a matter of choosing it and moving towards it and making space for it. I think that that's the most important, one of the most important parts of this too, is that you have to make the space for it. Like, it can be as simple as uh, letting go of things in your home, but also letting go of things in your body, of resentment, of uh, unresolved things, uh, but also making time in your schedule. <laughs> like, if you know that there is something that you want to do, like maybe, for example, maybe you want to do YouTube, but you know, where do I have the time for it? If you just commit yourself to doing whatever it is, five minutes a day, every single day, and you let go of something else that you're doing for five minutes a day, could be scrolling. Like, if you ever see the screen time on your phone and you're like, oh, shit, I spend so much of my life on my technology. There's always a way to change your priorities and where your time is going and being spent. It, again, just comes down to being honest with yourself and making that move. So that's the message that I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new here and leave a comment if you feel called to do so. I wanted to have you guys see Arlo because he was just with me, but he is gone at the moment. So yeah, if you want to leave a comment, you can still say hello to Arlo. We're still waiting on the contracts and everything for the horses. I will update you guys when that is finalized. We're almost there, almost there. We're just waiting on all the other horses to finally get their correct paperwork. Hopefully this week, that is all done and then we'll have some kind of celebration on this channel um and then all the people that donated as well i would like to invite to some kind of live q a sit down with the horses and uh the farm owner here and i think it'll be really fun to do that so if you want to sign up for my programs i have sign up for any of my programs i have 21 days to know your divine guidance and 21 days to rewire your mind and i also have one-on-one -on -one options as well if you'd like to do that and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.